Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2019 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Matt Blevin. His presenter is his high school coach, Mr. Arturo Ramos. Matt Blevin wrestled at Mountain View High School, where he was a two-time CIF Central Coast Section finalist. In 1981, he placed first at the CCS and placed fourth at the CIF State Wrestling Championships. After high school, Matt Blevin attended West Valley College and in 1985 was a state community college heavyweight champion, which included being a junior college All-American. After West Valley College, Matt Blevin attended San Francisco State University, where he's a two-time NC2A Division II All-American and NC2A Division II National Champion in 1990 and playing, placing third in 1991. After competing at the collegiate level, Matt Blevin was an assistant coach at San Francisco State University for three seasons, during which that time of San Francisco State won the NC2A Division II National Championship in 1997. And one more, Matt was champion and three-time finalist at the California Freestyle Open. Well, Mr. Matt Blevin, now the class of 2019, you are the California Russell Hall of Fame champion. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into 2019 California Russell Hall of Fame, Mr. Matt Blevin. Good evening. I'm very honored and humbled to be inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame today. I would like to thank my wonderful family and my beautiful girlfriend for their never-ending love and support and for being here today. Thank you to my friends that we're all able to be here also. You have made this day more special for me and my family. I am honored to have my high school wrestling coach as my presenter. I would like to sincerely thank Coach Art Olmos and his wife Becky for making the trip over to Sacramento today. Wrestling saved my life. Coach Olmos was a mentor. Quite literally, I would not be standing in front of you here today if it was not for the efforts of this great man and his wonderful family. The Olmos family was the first family of wrestling at Mountain View High School. Arthur took me under his guidance and mentored me every step of the way. For that, I always owe you a debt of gratitude. I have the utmost respect for you, and I feel a great appreciation for all that you've done on my behalf. Arturo, you literally changed the course of my life, as you have for countless others in your career as an educator, mentor, and coach. Thank you, Coach, from the bottom of my heart. My wrestling career started in 1975 at McKinleyville Junior High School. It was introductory wrestling being taught by Coach Mac, Mike Davis, Mike Dacus, excuse me. Coach Dacus was a one-eyed ex-NFL lineman who played for the Green Bay Packers. Coach Dacus took me under his guidance and encouraged me to compete in football, wrestling, and track and field. Mike Dacus gave, gave everyone a nickname. I was beef. In the eighth grade, I was asked to wrestle off against two opponents. I pinned them both at the same time. At the end of the eighth grade year at the sports banquet, Coach Dacus challenged me to fill his pants one day. He kind of like fill his shoes, but he said pants. Coach was a very large man. You should have seen how big those slacks were. He had a larger than life personality, too, a great sense of humor, and he cared for us all very much. I moved from Humboldt County as a freshman. That was the last I ever saw of Coach Dacus. At Mountain View High School, I landed I, I, at Mountain View High School, I landed at a school with a wrestling team coached by Art Olmos. The Olmos family was the backbone of our wrestling community. I wrestled with David, David and Albert Olmos while being coached also by Manuel Olmos. Arthur Cantu was an assistant coach also. The experience and mat time at Mountain View High School developed my skills and intensified my desire to be a better wrestler. At West Valley, I was given the opportunity to compete for the wrestling team. I'd always known of, known of Coach Jim Root from high school. He, just like all of the other head coaches I have had, was an outstanding man. Coach Root was a great disciplinarian and put us in great shape to compete. He was a mentor, friend, and coach. But after being part of his program and achieving all I could for California Junior College, at that level I decided to transfer to San Francisco State to finish my last two years of eligibility. At San Francisco State, I found a home. I'm still working there today. Coach Lars Jensen was a great coach 
friend and mentor to me. He was also my training and workout partner so many years ago. Ironmans, wrestling matches, and conditioning. He was there pushing us all the way. I was very proud to be his first NCAA national champion. There have been many others since then for San Francisco State. I was also honored to be an assistant coach on the San Francisco State Division II 1997 National Championship team. What a team and season that was. To this day, that team is the only team to achieve, achieve this feat at San Francisco State University. I have admired and looked up to many of the past Hall of Fame inductees. Many of them are on my list of wrestling heroes. It is a dream come true, a pinch me moment, to have my name added to that list. The California wrestling family and community is outstanding in my humble opinion. The multitude of lifelong and dedicated organizers, referees, coaches, and supporters, both past and present, that are completely committed to our sport. They are simply amazing people. And I'm very lucky and blessed, a very lucky and blessed man that has greatly benefited from the California wrestling community's efforts. Today, I believe that I have finally fulfilled Coach Dacus's challenge to me from so many years ago. With my induction, I believe I have fully and completely filled those pants. I thank Coach Dacus for the challenge as it drove me over my life and athletic career to fulfill his dream for me. Giving people, and to me, this is what it's really all about. Giving people, the dream, giving people dreams to live for and goals to strive towards. It teaches us to work very hard and to achieve, achieve our dreams, which builds character. And I will leave you with this thought. The art of living is more like wrestling than dancing, insofar as it stands against the accidental and unforeseen, and it's not apt to fall. Marcus Aurelius. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give one round of applause to Mr. Matt Blevin.